Isn't it amazing? Just the way it looks. You have all the planets that are circling around the sun. All of the different things. You have the, uh, even the asteroid belt. What happens if we change that though? You guys gave me a very, very good suggestion in the last video about turning in Earth into a black hole. And it sounded amazing. So I, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna do it. <laughs> now, in order to make a black hole, you basically have to explode a sun. But if Earth is a planet, how do we make it a sun? That's a good question. Uh, probably by exploding it with other planets. Is that gonna work? Okay, oh, oh, there, there goes Mercury. Ooh, ooh, that did good. So what I need to do is I need to get up this and we need to figure out how many moons worth yeah, we're, we're making Earth, so we need to make it larger. Uh-oh, we totally crashed everything. Why? What did we do to it? Oh, surface temperature. We made it a little bit warm. Uh, whoopsies. Okay, what happens if I hit it with another Mercury? Uh, like this, right here, and... Oh, right on the same spot. Yes! Oh, look at all that junk fly off. That was amazing. That was amazing. Now where's all that stuff gonna go? All those fragments. Oh, we're making it go away from the sun, too. Wow, look at all those fragments go. Oh, and we're heating it up nicely. Look at that. Now the temperature, uh, we're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We better add some more stuff to it. How about some tennis balls? Yeah, like a bunch of tennis balls. Well, that that really probably didn't do anything. Or maybe the Great Pyramid of Giza. Yeah, that, oh, that actually did something. We're making nice rings. Oh, the planet's exploding. I like it. Is it getting bigger? Not really. Jack-o-lanterns? No, they don't do anything. An individual marble? <laughs> What else do we have in here? What else? There's like these things. Oh, that was a decently sized. Oh, it's still getting smaller and smaller, isn't it? We need to add more mass to the planet. What happens if I just make it still? Or orbiting? If I put it in orbit, a bunch of them in orbit, will that work? Just make it into small orbits. That doesn't quite look quite right. Um, whoopsies. <laughs> Are some of them trying to go in? Maybe? Oh, wow. We have a lot of really low frame rate. And it's dark. And we've moved away from the sun substantially? Yeah, it's not getting any bigger at all. Um, I'm gonna turn on... Man, the orbits? Yeah, the orbits look good. Let's keep adding some more things to it. Pluto! Oh, that's a good explosion. Oh, what is that thing? Where did that come from? Oh, it's like a bigger planet. Oh, or a bigger moon. One of these things that hit it. Or that was, it just collected all the junk from Pluto? Maybe. Some of them are getting bigger. Oh wow, the mass of Earth is getting significantly smaller too. <laughs> Look at all the fragments are flying everywhere. We're creating another moon right now. This thing's getting big. It's actually at nine tenths of the moon right now. Oh, is it gonna hit another one? Oh, that was close. And the Earth has got water back. What? How did that happen? Oh, it's getting really close to touching. One of these times it's gonna hit. Whoa, <laughs> he just got shredded by Earth. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, look at all the particles are coming back in too. Yes, that's what we needed. We needed a particle to put our, put our, oh, not fragment. We need more, more mass. Oh boy, maybe that's not good. How do I add mass without cheating? Watch this thing get shredded again. Oh, just ripped apart by gravity. That's awesome. Here it comes again. Oh, maybe, maybe, oh, there, yep, a little bit more mass. We lost a little more mass. So what happens if I add mercury? <laughs> is that gonna, is that gonna mess things up? Maybe a couple mercuries? Oh, yes, we're making a trinary system here. Well, not really a system. Oh, yes, that was, oh, we got a double, we got a double. Oh, this one's gonna crash badly too. Oh, wait, I wanna orbit mercury with mercury and then crash them together into earth to make earthery. Oh, wow, those two just combined very nicely. Is that gonna work? Are we getting, oh wow, are we getting more and more mass in Earth now? 20 moons, okay, good, so it is growing. Oh, it's ripping apart Mercury. This is fantastic, we have to create a star somehow. There it is, look at it shedding its mass right into Earth. Well, what's left of Earth, even though it's 900 degrees. So direct crashing does not work, but putting it in slight orbit so it steals from the other does. That means we need more, another one. Another one right there. Gah! <laughs> oh, this would be fantastic. Oh, okay. We we got Earth together. This is good. Now, did you get into the same ring? I think so. So we have uh, a third of Earth's regular mass now because uh, the rest of it's escaped into space. Oh, this is amazing. Everything's just ripping apart each other's gravity wells. Okay, here comes another good one. Look at all these. Oh, oh those two are going to crash. Oh, and it just dissolved it. Come on. Pull all that fragments back into Earth. Oh, no. that's not. I don't want to crash there. Oh, maybe, maybe, yes, it grew bigger, perfect. 
What happens if I put five more Mercuries now? We just need to keep feeding the Earth to make it super big. I don't know what's happening, but I love it. I think it's getting super heated now. Ooh, everything's heating up. Perfect. Perfect. Half the Earth? These two have escaped. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel Mercury. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Nope. They've, they're gone. They're gone. There we go. Keep feeding it. Yes, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger and hotter. So we're not going to talk about all the Mercuries that have kind of left. Because there's one, two, three, four, five. It's like six that have disappeared from our little experiment here. We're almost up to the same size of Earth, which is good. Ooh, look at how fast that one's spinning. <laughs> Took a close encounter with Earth. Oh, look at this. This will be good. Right here. Come on in. Come on. Oh, there's a good hit. And perfect. Oh, that's amazing. It's absorbed everything. We're almost back to Earth size. We're just feed it. We're just gonna feed it. It's like Earth. Whoa, where'd that one come from? I have no idea. Whoa, uh, it's gonna leave now. Bye. So we're bigger than an Earth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it a Venus to feed on. Ah, oh, might not be a good idea. I don't care. We have to feed Earth. Okay. Uh, is Venus? Oh, come on, come on, get back up there. Yes, it's climbing. It's climbing. Okay, this is really cool. No joke. You put it around the outside, and then you let it come around the backside, and then it just kind of slowly heats up. Yes! And then it'll come around again. And when it hits that next side, it's just gonna rip apart. Here it is. Watch. Oh, 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 it just touched barely. Come on, rip it apart this time. Oh, so close. But Earth has kind of cooled itself down again. That's not it. That's not what we want. So I'm gonna add. Oh, it didn't rip. Okay, let's add another Venus. Heat up. Oh, it just dissolved it. Good. Good. We're getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> that Venus is now leaving the system. It's like, peace out, dudes. I don't like what's going on here. I'm just gonna leave. And then I, I might come back in a couple of million light years. It's been amazing. <laughs> We're just sharing Venus with Earth. We got it's just shredding. Oh, perfect. That was amazing. Now look at all the look at all the shrapnel from the, the planet coming in. What what would you call that? The debris? It's going around. We've got 0.2 or 2.8 times bigger earth than what it normally is and uh, as soon as we put down a venus look oh it just messes up the gravity for everything and then there it goes sharing some more perfect 3.2 we're gonna start getting some bigger things in here pretty soon too oh mars is smaller i didn't realize mars is smaller than venus still not to jupiter levels though that would mess up our little earth looks like it might be cooling down slightly kind of surprised with that yeah it's only 500 degrees celsius now so I might have made Venus into a small sun. <laughs> it's a little bit warm. Wow. How, how hot is this thing? Hey, come back here. Come back here. Venus, I need you. Uh, 7,000 degrees Celsius. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but it did, and it's amazing. I feel like it's taking all of the heat away from regular Earth here. Uh, <laughs> Earth's cooling down. Even though it's eight times bigger than normal Earth, it's still getting colder. Let's feed Earth to Earth. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, this is what we needed. Oh, heating up. It just wanted to cannibalize itself. Not sure how this works. Hey, we're at 24 Earth sizes now. That's awesome. Ooh, it just absorbed the other one. I like how it slows down to process. Oh, perfect. 25 Earths. Ooh, this is going to get better now. 25.1. Now you'd think for every Earth that I dissolve, I would grow the Earth by one mass. It doesn't look to be that way because not all of it actually makes it. Um, and then if it hits just wrong, it expels a lot of fragments into space. Oh, here we go. <laughs> See, just like those fragments, watch some of them just get flung out. Or not. I, I, I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, there's the fragments getting flung out. That looks good. It's almost like a start of our own little galaxy here, except we have much bigger things in our galaxy. So I'm at 82 now. Oh, wow. How big is Jupiter, actually, in real life? Oh, there's Uranus. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Neptune? Oh, wow, we're still a little bit smaller than Neptune. I'm just gonna feed, keep feeding it more Earths. More Earths. I like, something about cannibalizing Earth to Earth just is amazing to me. This is a fun graph. <laughs> it shows how big it is and how fast it's growing. It's not very growing very fast with Earths anymore. Ah, here we go. I guess we're gonna risk it with another planet. Let's go with Neptune. Oh boy. So if this goes badly, we could cannibalize Earth and it'll destroy it. Here we go. Oh no. Okay, it just needs to, it just needs to pull and pull and pull and pull. Oh! No way! Oh, it worked! 
We created a gas giant. Look at Earth, the gas giant. Okay, we got to give it a little bit farther away, maybe. Oh, wow. Now it's now it's sucking up the wrong stuff. We Earth size came down a little bit. Oh, it's heating up. Look at it heat up. Oh, that's awesome. Come on. There it goes. It's pulling in. It's pulling into Earth. Come on. Come on. Keep feeding Earth. Come on, Neptune. I don't even know. You're not even Neptune. I grabbed the wrong planet. <laughs> no, you are Neptune. Never mind. I thought it was this one for a second. Okay, how about Uranus here? Here we go. Earth's gonna absorb Uranus. Oh boy. Please, please, yes. It's venting off. 182. We're getting there. Oh, it's heating up. It must have been burrito night. Oh, there. Oh, wait. Is Earth? Which one's absorbing which? Okay. I think Earth is taking Uranus in. Oh, whoa, it just evaporated. Wow, so that's kind of the problem here. Some of them aren't doing very good. And then the core is around. I think the game's starting to chug because there's a lot of particles hanging out in the world. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> wow, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Back in. Oh, perfect. Look, at it keeps getting smaller and smaller. Uranus does, and then it's all absorbing into Earth, sort of. I'm gonna put a third one in. We're gonna risk it right there. Okay, this could this could destroy everything. I, I mean, it's been a long time since I've messed with planets in real life, but oh, oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Now, hopefully that this big one out here. Oh, yeah. Hopefully this big one out here doesn't destroy Earth because it looks to be bigger. Hi, kitty. Do you want to destroy Earth too? She does. She she wants to destroy Earth. I think we can increase. Oh, we can't increase the Saturn yet. <laughs> Not quite. Wait a second. So is this by radius? I'm gonna check. So Earth, we're at 3.6 Earths. Wow, in radius, we're only 3.6 Earths, but our mass is 326. Wow. So it's like a third of the size of Jupiter, but our mass is significantly stronger. That's amazing. So what happens if I put Jupiter in? Oh, uh, I don't like that. I don't I don't like doing that. I'm not gonna put Jupiter in yet. Maybe Saturn? Well, we'll try Saturn. Here we go. Oh, oh, hey, we made a small Saturn that got ripped apart. Whoa, okay, there it goes. There it goes. 326 Earths. Yes, it's working. It's working. Oh, there goes Uranus. It's disappeared. And now Saturn is a giant ball of fire. Oh, wow, we ignited the atmosphere. That's awesome. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, that's so cool. We're up to 400 Earths now. And it's venting off its atmosphere, too. Wow. So I wonder at what stage are we going to get super hot and turn into like a black hole. Oh, this could be really bad. This could be really, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh no, we turned Earth into Saturn. <laughs> it combined them. What? Where'd my Earth go? I think this is Earth, but it renamed itself to Saturn. We'll just rename it back. <laughs> that was cool. We like, wow. We destroyed Earth by turning it into Saturn and Uranus hit it at the same time. And we're 546 size now. That's cool. Okay, how about, how about we give it a Jupiter to dissolve? Oh, here we go. Here we go. There it goes. Jupiter is now being absorbed into our Earth conglomerate thing. Yes, Jupiter's lighting on fire too. 608 Earths big by mass. Radius is climbing pretty quickly too. Only six times bigger, but 600 times bigger on mass. Wow. And we're still only half the size of Jupiter but two times heavier than it? The Earth grows very big when you can feed it entire Jupiters at a time. <laughs> Go, little Jupiter! Go! Oh yeah, three, five, five? Yes. Okay, take that back. After uh, after long enough, it uh, <laughs> doesn't grow too much quicker uh, anymore. I think it's time to feed it a sun. Where's the sun at? The sun. Oh no. Maybe not. Maybe not might be not time to feed it the sun. Is there a smaller one in? Oh, there's a small star. That's a little bit more dense. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this is getting bigger. There's beetle guys. Oh my, oh, there's a small one. Can I? Oh no, that's not small enough. I want to, Alpha Centauri? Nope. Oh, we're getting, I mean, it's on the same level as a star though. Okay, so I got to feed it a lot more small planets or large planets, I guess. Any of the Kepler planets any bigger? Not really. Oh, there's a big one. P pig 51 pig 8b whatever that means <laughs> pretty sure the earth isn't the only thing oh i think we just turned the earth into a a, a star <laughs> uh pretty sure that my computer is also gonna light on fire just like earth just combusted uh wow oh look cinematic slow motion <laughs> right before the planet incinerated beautiful you know it's kind of interesting is putting something small in here and watching it grow pretty quickly. Wow, I used Titan before. That wasn't it. Europa? 
Maybe? Oh yeah, watch them grow just a little bit. They're absorbing all of that weird stuff that's outside. And then we'll just blow it up with uh, another giant planet. There's a carrot. That's not the right one. Oh wow! Here, whatever this thing is. Uh, this could be bad. I'm gonna do it though. We're gonna do it. We're gonna bring it out here. Oh! Now we have created something new, I guess. Not quite what I wanted to do. That was kind of bad. It's a little bigger than Jupiter though. <laughs> Yay, Jupiter! Now I'm feeding super massive planets to the Earth. <laughs> Just feeding it. Hopefully we'll get some... Oh, what's going to happen here? Nice little explosion. Oh, no. It's going to bypass. It goes right in... Oh, that was excellent. Now this one's going to go right in too. Beautiful. Wow. Did that create a star now? Is it a star? Nope, not quite yet. So it cooled down enough. <laughs> we also have super massive planets. I'm just, you know, venting out into the, the universe somehow. Oh, oh, that almost made it. There we go. Oh, it's getting so close. It gets hot and then it cools down right away. I think I did it. Yes, we got ourselves a, a, a sun. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, so close. Yes. Whoa. Oh, I supernovaed. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I made a supernova. Whoa. Okay, that was really, really cool. <laughs> I didn't quite make the black hole that I wanted to, but we managed to blow up a sun. Or we managed to create Earth into a sun, into a star, and then supernova it. That's amazing. That's amazing. Where's the... Oh, there's a couple extra little masses out here. 25 times the size of Jupiter. What's all this stuff? Oh, there's, there's the sun. <laughs> the regular sun. Oh, it's so cute and tiny. So when we blew up the Earth, or when we blew up the Earth, yeah, it was 200 times bigger than Jupiter. Wow. That's not even that big. I'm going to delete the supernova. There we go. Just delete it. There. Oh, there's a couple supernovas. <laughs> Doesn't it look amazing? What we did to the solar system. Anyway, guys, that'll wrap it up for today's video of this beautiful game universe sandbox 2 hope you've enjoyed our adventure today if you did let me know give me a tip about what we should play next time and keep your stick on the ice we'll catch you later goodbye supernovas